Morning, my loves. I hope you're safe and well and spreading love, light, and positivity everywhere you go. So today, I actually planned on doing a um, a Primark haul, but I went shopping in Primark, and honestly, it's not that great. Um, so I've got a couple of bits which I will still show you in the video, but today is going to be just a mixture of different things. It's actually Mother's Day today, so anyone who is a mother who is subscribed, happy Mother's Day. Um, sending love and light to you as always. Um, so yeah, I will still show you some bits and bobs, but this is just literally just going to be a vlog of me getting ready today to go visit my mum. I'll show you the pieces that I got from Primark. Um, I realise that I've done like more bits to the flat as you can see behind. Um, and... I haven't shown you guys, so I will be showing you like <laughs> just some random pieces. So I don't know. I hope you enjoy it. it is what it is. Um, I'm gonna be needing to get ready or whatever. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Shay. I hope you do subscribe and you enjoy this video. If you don't enjoy like vlogs or things like that, I often post fashion hauls, which today was meant to be one, but. You're just gonna get a bit of everything. You're just gonna get a bit of me. Right now, I'm literally just changing my bed sheets. So I was like. Welcome to my room, to my day. I'm aware I look like tired. I'm still trying to get rid of like this scarring, guys. I've got like a variation of different products. Anyone who knows of any products now to just get like rid of like really bad skin pigmentation. Like, cause this is like really bad. I get loads of spots in this area. So anyway, so, and then I went to the range yesterday and got this really pretty vase. Booty booty. I finally got finally got my TV up on the wall and then just like this little candle set down here. Not much has happened, like there's not much anything that is new. You guys saw my curtains. Um that was meant to be a huge plan. Amazon did me dirty. Like look how tiny it is. Then I'm gonna put this bad boy in my hallway above my radiator. Pretty cute. I'm pretty sure my bathroom looks exactly the same, apart from my need to make this look like a little hotel. So yeah, right now I'm literally getting ready for Mummy's Day. <laughs> I really look crazy, guys. Um, this is what I got, by the way, for my scarring. I don't know if anyone's tried this before. Please let me know. Like, did I just waste my money? I feel like I've come out in more spots since I... Um, Tie this back so I can do my makeup. So since I started using it, 
so but i do know sometimes like your skin has to get worse to get better so i don't know if that's it because it's just primarily in this area like this scarring um what are you guys doing for Mother's Day anyway? Share, tell me in the comments. Um, what I want to do is I'm going to put my makeup on first before I show you the just random small bits and pieces that I got from Primani. And then I can show you the outfit that I'm going to wear today. Um, I'm going to be taking my mum out to dinner. Oh, I'll take my family out to dinner with my mum. And then I ordered some flowers, you know. <laughs> I'm doing that thing. This is why I don't do vlogs. Because when I talk, I go all over the place. I ordered some flowers from funkypigeon.com and I bought specifically lilies because they are very important to my family um, and to my mum to represent my granddad's passing. But I remind her every celebration we do that he's there with us. Hence why lily tattoos on my thigh. Um, and they messaged me this morning to say that they're delivering roses instead because they ran out of lilies. So now I've still got my lilies and I'm actually kind of annoyed because it was not a cheap bouquet. But anyway. Makeup did. It's amazing what's my eyelashes. Ooh, push you out, push you out, push you out. Did that make you dizzy? <laughs> it's amazing what some eyelashes and foundation can do. Voila. So let me show you the uh, bits and pieces I got from my money. Uh, as you guys know, I am going on holiday in like. Seven days. <laughs> Cannot wait. Um, and so I just needed some basic bits, like not everyday dress up. Although I love to dress up, not every day. So first little piece is not even first little piece, like they are all basic. And I think, like I said, I didn't get that much stuff because Primark was like a huge letdown. It's not as cheap as it used to be, but the quality's still just as cheap. Um, and there's not a lot of variety, at least in the one um, that I went to. I went to um one in one foot. So. Yeah, so this is like the first two pieces. Just something to just throw on, to walk around, to be casual. Really beautiful, bright colour. Um, you know when you just like want to walk around or you wake up early to go to breakfast, you get a swimsuit underneath. These are like the casual pieces that I'm going through. Are very comfortable, very stretchy. They actually do this, the two pieces like £3.50 for the top, £3 for the bottom. So very good deal very comfortable and as you can see it's hugging um but they have this in other colors the one that i went to did not have all the colors i wanted literally all they had left was size smalls i got this in an extra large um obviously i do like things a little bit more snug but i think because of the fabric like this fits absolutely perfectly perfectly comfortable the black one is more like a racer neck which is really cool so i think i'm going to try and go to another primark and get the back as well not necessarily for like um like to have in the day with the sun but i feel like the black two piece would look really cute with some sandals and like my hair done up for like dinner that's what i'm thinking so i got like some basic shorts nothing fancy literally just throw on can wear it by the pool um with a bikini top or again or just um throw on for like lunch got them in two different colors don't know if you need to see them in two different colors but i'm going to show you anyway because i really want to do a haul and i'm really upset that i did not buy loads of things there you go and so then we have the blue what um and these were like two pound fifty each so i know i said they're not as cheap as they used to be but that's just because there were other things that i wanted but I was like, wow. Like, I'll show you all the extra little bits and pieces at the end. Why do my basket come to, like, £80? Am I a cheapskate? Am I the cheapskate? You tell me at the end. Because I feel like, for Primark, it, everything that I got should have cost less than £80. 
where did it come from? Oh, the bed sheet that you saw in the beginning, they were 13, so we're gonna add that in. So let's take that away, let's say 70. So next is this, just this is a nice cute maxi dress from Primark, like, it's cute. I feel like I got the best of what I could. Um, very comfortable, full length. This wasn't bought with holiday in mind. I need some extra bits. It's getting a bit warmer in the UK for like work. And for something like this is really cute with some sandals. A little collar shirt, of course, yeah, the buttons. Might burn it up a little bit more. Or I might just put a white tee underneath actually, because I don't know if I like it. <sighs> I'm not a modest person. But definitely something underneath. Because this button looks like it's about to pop. Anyway, yeah, white tee underneath. This is cute. Maxi. Not much to say. And then I did get... <laughs> kind of similar to um, the other one, but how cute is this? I am a big kid. Ouch. Itch. I'm a big kid at heart. So I got this. <laughs> Powerpuff Girl pajamas. It wasn't in the teenager section. I'm very nostalgic. Like you guys have seen like my Rugrats um, two piece set, like my jogging bottom set, and then I also have like I'm sure I have like uh, a Powerpuff Girl top. I do have it. It's funny because I'm like these are so cute as pajamas, but they actually look very similar to my two piece set. I showed you. Similar colours. This is for bedtime. This is so cute. And I chose Buttercup because she looks cute. But she's ready to fight. I'm always ready to fight. I can't even. I can't fight, guys, but I'm always ready to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. This is Lil BJ set. And that was kind of like it from Primark. Other than that, that's why I was like, where did £80 go? Um, I got like, these cute little. Bands, actually got three of them. So these are only like two pounds each. I don't I won't be wearing them as a bow, but you know that like you kinda of like tight up at the front or whatever. I don't know. Wait till you see it on the bottom. I don't know. So I got three of them. Because like I said they are two pounds fifty each. And then I got these cute sandals because I like a little bit of sparkly sparkly. It actually glistens so much and looks so cute on the toes. Um, and then the rest is like, I love an anklet. You pay all that money to get your pedicure done and stuff like that. You've got to have an anklet just to pretty up the feet. And that was everything, guys, from Primark that I got with the bed sheet. So I feel like actually I didn't do too bad, but I actually wanted to do like a really big haul. I tried on... I tried on some swimwear from Primark, never again, guys. I Like I said, I wanted to make this like holiday haul. I wanted to have like some cover-ups, some swimwear, some little casual pieces, and Primark did me dirty because the swimwear, first of all, is useless. It, in terms of like, if you are like a heavy busted person, do not even try to buy swimwear. I feel like I could have told myself this, but I really tried. I really wanted to prove myself wrong, and I proved myself right. So that is my bad. So let me... Then I've done that. I am gonna quickly throw on my outfit for dinner this afternoon. Actually, mm, do I wanna? I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Um, first, also, I wanna say, like, I know I have not been posting on my social media, on my Instagram anyway. I don't think I've posted for like three weeks. And I know a few of you have just come from there to here because the girl is just not anywhere and everywhere that she used to be. But I will be specifically like rebranding my Instagram and only be posting things that I feel like are like relevant to me. When I first started out on Instagram, I really wanted to show who I was. There's when I say there's nothing special about me. I want people to feel like you can be anything. You can like whoever you want to be. Don't let people tell you you can't do things. Like it, it just just. That's what I wanted to show. Like, I am nothing special in terms of I am not a model, so to speak. Like, I just wanted to show me and let people know that you can be as beautiful and as intelligent and as uncomfortable as you want to be. As long as you believe, like, in yourself and know that you are actually perfect and beautiful, you don't have to be, like, these slim models and everything. And I wanted my Instagram to really be 
essentially like this is a diary this is why i came on youtube because i didn't think my instagram was doing it i feel like it lost its way especially when covid hit it came more about just taking pictures in um clothing rather than taking pictures in clothing as i was living my life um, lifestyle wise well, lifestyle life <laughs> lifestyle wise I am nowhere near as active as like your average influencer. Um, I like solitude and stuff like that. So I found it really difficult to keep up with the content based on me just being out and about. And I ended up having to start like creating false narratives in terms of like booking apartments, which we all do because we, we have to produce content, like booking apartments, getting my friend to come down, having to pay her to take photos. And it spiraled out of control of this is not my life. The deepest story that I wanted people to know. Um, and so, I'm gonna be really subjecting my content to, you're gonna see more of a lifestyle change on it, where it's gonna be like, I'm going on holiday um, this month, going on holiday like next month. So for example, if you see me in a bikini, it's not gonna be, you know, because I've got this brand deal with this brand and I have to quickly take it against the white wall or in my bathroom. I'm going to be living and breathing the lifestyle of things that I am posting. So that is kind of why I've taken a break because I really wanted to consciously do this. So after this holiday, you will see content. Um, and I think like my lifestyle, my outdoor ones, they do so much better on social media as well because I feel like you guys see who I am through it. And I love that energy and I wanna keep that energy up, this energy that I'm bringing here for you guys. That's it. So yeah, I've got a holiday this week. Um, I plan to go to like, Jamaica in June. I plan to go to Morocco in August. And so you will start to constantly have content. It might not be like as it was before in terms of I was churning out like, imagine how busy I would have to be if I wasn't taking pictures at home, like churning out content like twice a day, every single day for nearly two years. I don't have a lifestyle for that. So now it'll probably be like, you know, every other day, which is better than not posting for the last, three weeks or four weeks, which I have been doing recently, kind of go ghost on you guys. Um, yeah, like every other day. So if I post on Monday, I post on Wednesday, I post on Friday type thing, spread out my content, but you're gonna just feel my energy more um, and it's gonna be more natural, um, hopefully less posed and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, just wanted to put that out there. And if you are new and you haven't seen my content, like thank you so much. I'm, I'm glad I've drawn you in and you have subscribed if you've been watching and you haven't subscribed yet. Before. Thank you so much for um, subscribing so far. I am gonna now get ready. Um, yeah, going to dinner with my mumsy and my family um, to spend Mother's Day together. And I will show you my outfit. I'm obsessed with blazers at the moment that I got from the blazers from PLT. The dress, I think, is an old dress from I saw it first. I lied in the last, well, I realized I lied in the last um, haul. I did shop at I saw it first before, but it was like years ago. So the content had really upped itself by the time I started doing that video. I don't think I'd literally shopped at I saw it first for like the last two years. I think, I don't want to lie to you guys, but it's a long time. But yeah. So, giving you guys my look before I head out. This is a, I don't know, is it a racer white dress? I don't even call it. So, woo! Long dress. Oversized blazer because I like to hang. You see it? And then I have the full fit. So now I'm ready to just go spend my mother's day with my mother. Um, that is gonna be the end of this vlog because I gotta run off. But as always, spread love and light and positivity everywhere you go. Thank you so much, and I'll make sure I have a video for you next week. Bye.